Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB. Today we're going to be solving a question from the May 2019 IB Chemistry examinations. This is an SL multiple choice question worth one mark, coming from paper 1A. Let's get started. What is the enthalpy change of reaction for the following equation? C2H4 plus H2 gives us C2H6. And these are our three equations. Okay, so to solve this question, we need to use Hess's law, more specifically the algebraic method to solve Hess's law. But we don't actually need to go too far in this question. We just need to understand the way to arrange these following three equations so that we can get all the reactants on the correct side and the products on the correct side. And what do I mean by this? Let's see. Firstly, I need C2H4 on the reactant side. Now, which equation has C2H4 in 1, 2, and 3? This is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. Equation 1 has C2H4 on the reactant side already. So, I don't need to do anything about this. So, immediately, I know the enthalpy change of formation is equal to the first part, x, positive, right? That's the first part of this. Next, what's the next part? I need H2 as well on the reactant side. Which equation of the three has H2 on the reactant side or has H2 in general? That's equation three. If you look at the position of H2 in equation three, it's already on the reactant side. So again, I don't need to do anything. I can just add Z, it's just enthalpy change. I need to sum up these enthalpy changes of the three equations to get the final equation, right? So I didn't need to do anything, so I just write Z as is. And then finally, we have to have C2H6 on the product side, which has C2H6 of the three equations, equation two. But C2H6 is on the reactant side. It needs to be on the product side. So in order to get it to the product side and to flip the equation, I need to multiply its enthalpy by negative one. So instead of negative H is equal to Y, it will be equal to negative y okay that's all i need to do the coefficients are all proper so x plus z minus y because i need to add up all three of these enthalpy changes so which of these are the correct answer they want it in the in the order of x y z so it's x minus y plus z which gives us our answer x minus y plus z these are answer okay i hope you understood if you have any questions, please leave them below. I'll answer them as soon as possible. Please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.